Hello Helldivers and welcome to another Helldivers 2 news video. I won't do the regular stuff about liking and subbing, if you enjoy the content you will and if you like Helldivers you'll do it anyway, so let's get right into it. Today is going to be a very short video, I just wanted to congratulate everybody in the community because we freaking won. We have a new announcement on the PlayStation official Twitter. Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback on the Helldivers 2 account linking update, the May 6th update which would have required Steam and Play PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players beginning May 30th will not be moving forward. We are still learning what is the best for PC players and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2 and we'll keep you updated on future plans. Hey yo, let's freaking go! I guess it was not a smart idea for Sony to mess with a community that is simply based upon the idea of everybody working towards a common goal because, well, this is what happened. And this was pretty much the best news any help diver could have woken up to because now we've shown the corpos what the true power of community is. But there are some things we should consider as a community, mainly how independent is Arrowhead Studios because it doesn't seem to be as independent as the CEO made it out to be at first. Now it's absolutely not outside of the realm of possibility for the monetization model to change and that's one of the best things about the game and I don't think a community outcry will be enough to change that if that were to happen. Right now all eyes are on Sony and I really hope they do not fumble this because if they do they're going to fumble one of the greatest games ever. And the community response over on the discord was simply spectacular. So many people are elated at the fact that we managed to take down Sony and I think this is going to act as an industry example of what happens when a community really rallies behind its game. There is however one thing which is kind of troubling me a little bit. Did we just shoot our one and only bullet? Because if Sony decide to pull some business voodoo on us, what happens then? It seems like they have the power to do so. Is Arrowhead really independent or if they are, how independent exactly are they? And will this serve as a teachable moment for the entire gaming industry or will this be just another flash in the pan? And here is my personal headcanon or at least what I would like to believe is the case. I would like to think that this is going to turn out to be a teachable moment for the gaming industry and that publishers will try to listen to development studios when development studios tell them that we know our player base and we know what they want. Because I am 100% sure that if Sony listened to Arrowhead Studios, this would have never happened and we would never have this debacle on our hands. In the absolute best case scenario, this will have spawned a conversation about the third party logins that we need to endure for most games. because. I did see a lot of YouTube creators talking about this and considering how it turned out it has the potential to make some real change in the gaming industry which is something that we desperately need for a lot of different reasons and for a lot of different cases. This issue was two pronged from the start. Firstly it was about the people who have already purchased Helldivers 2 but it would have been taken away from them if the PSN thing went through. And secondly it was about the people who didn't want to share personal data with yet another company that they would not interact with on any regular basis. And while this major order has been completed, the Helldivers community managed to carry everything on its back, I think it's time for the broader gaming community to start talking about these things. And we would need to have a broader discussion on the topic of personal data, data safety and of course changing the deal after the deal was already made, since that's what Sony tried to pull on us. We may have won this battle and we should feel good about this, but we definitely have not won the war, the corpos are still controlling the world and we as the broader gaming community need to speak up. The way the Helldivers community did this was absolutely ingenious because basically we hit Sony where it hurts and their wallet. People were requested refunds at such a massive level that Sony really had to turn back. This just can serve as a proof that people can indeed vote with their wallets and we need to apply this logic much more often. But enough of this somber note, I just want to say congratulations on the dub Helldivers. If you like this video make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.